hey guys welcome back to the channel and today i want to release a new video regarding fundrise investment plans if you watched my previous videos um, you would know that i previously described supplemental income balanced investing a long-term growth investment plans however in just one short year fundrise have added another type of investment plan called the venture capital plan and so today i'm gonna go over all four of these how they compare and which investment plan is right for you but before we get started if you're new to fundrise and to this channel make sure that when you open a new fundrise account and deposit just ten dollars you use my referral link because you will get a free 100 dollars bonus added to your account absolutely free so all the details are in the description below now let's get started as always we're gonna start with supplemental income now what is a supplemental income investment plan well this is the type of investment plan it's an automatic investment plan offered by fundrise where most of your returns will be from dividend if you choose supplemental income investment plan most of your returns will come in terms of dividends aka the income that fundrise gets from uh, rental properties that they own and operate as well as the interest that they collect from the loans they give to land developers so this is a month over month nice and solid returns that fundrise gets and part of those returns will go to you now as you could see here dividends and most of your returns will come in terms of dividends here a little bit less in terms of appreciation because some projects that are rentals were developed in a way where they um, produce returns from collecting rental income but at the same time because they were so strategically placed in certain areas of the country there's also appreciation on those certain projects okay so some of the returns will also come from appreciation but much less than dividends as you can see total return is moderately okay if we scroll down and we look at this chart now over here it doesn't say but we're going to assume that each dot here represents a year uh that's the life of the investment so this is pretty much seven years here and that's the total return as you could see that over a seven year period you will get good returns but as we will see when we go through the other investment plans there's not as much returns total over many many years again really good returns um, if we look here a typical portfolio allocation it says weighted toward assets expect to generate consistent cash flow like we said uh, the uh, the interest collected uh, on the loans that fundraise gives as well as the rental income um, that they receive on a month-to-month -month basis from operating um, their properties as you can see here about 70 to 80 percent of assets will be income focused as I mentioned before and around 20 to 30 percent will be growth focused so overall it is a good investment plan for those who want to uh, invest their money and see that month to month income uh, put into your fundrise portfolio and maybe even your bank account aka you will be using that money uh, right away you need that money right away you need the returns and the money right away to buy certain things like groceries or um, you know for example you want to buy an actual physical property or rental property or something like that again long term this is not a good plan for you because total returns are much less now let's move on to balanced investing investment plan now this is for those who are not sure if they want to invest in long term or supplemental income because most likely you're new to funders and you want to see what's going on or you need some of the money right away but at the same time you have some extra cash that you may not need for the next five to ten years which you could put away or invest with fundrise and generate income uh that way so let's take a look so balanced investing is about 50 percent supplemental income and 50 percent long-term growth as you could see your returns from dividends aka the rental income and the interest on loans is a little bit less than in the supplemental income that's balanced investing appreciation is a little bit more than a supplemental income but not by much total return is a little bit higher than supplemental income uh, again if we look at this chart like we did in the previous one total returns over a seven-year period will be a tad bit higher than the supplemental income 
uh, and lower returns early on because all the projects that will uh, generate income by uh, internal uh, increase in value, uh, it takes time to develop those. But as you can see, but with the potential for high returns later on in the life of the investment. Uh, as you can see, typical portfolio allocation, it says 40 to 60% for income or growth focused, but in you kind of want to think of it as a 50-50 between long term and supplemental income. That's why I said balanced investing is the best of both worlds. If you're not sure, uh, with, uh, if you're not sure about Fundrise or you're not sure if you're going to have that extra money or you may need the money right away in order uh, to, uh, you know, buy some sort of a property or invest it in some other asset or even just buy groceries or something like that or go on vacation. So this is for those who are, uh, you know, checking out Fundrise for the first time, not sure if supplemental long term growth is right for them. I would choose balanced investing, see how it goes for a couple of years and then make your decision. Now, my favorite investing plan out of all of these is long term growth. And this is for those investors who have a long term mindset. Uh, you have extra cash on hand that you're willing to lock up for five to 10 years at the minimum. You don't need any supplemental income on you for your day to day activities, purchases. You're not looking, uh, to buy a physical property or house or something like that. And you have a long term mindset because you believe in Fundrise as a company and you're willing to stay with the company for a long period of time. My favorite investment plan. This is the one I am in because I'm thinking long term. Even if it's for me or for my kids, it will get passed down to them. If anything, it could be here for 10, 20, 30 years, as long as no one needs the money for an emergency. So long term growth pursue superior overall returns over the long term. As you could see, your returns in dividends are much less than the balance or supplemental that returns of from appreciation are massive and total returns are massive again. But this is for those patient investors, not for someone who's looking for a quick buck, not for someone who needs the money right now. If you look at the chart over here over a seven year period, you will probably the way it looks like here, you will see returns about 33% higher as compared to the supplemental income over a seven year period. So again, you need to be patient. Uh, and of course, certain things need to happen. There's, you know, pandemics, there's certain things that happen in the world that change all of these curves. This is just an estimate. But essentially, over long periods of time, you will make more money. That's why I always suggest a long term growth investment plan for anyone who is on the younger side, I would say, under 45 or 50 years old. Uh, as you get older, uh, you probably want to be looking more on a supplemental income or balanced investing investment plans as well. So let's read it here. Low to no returns for the first couple of years because these projects, these houses or rental properties, they get built. It takes time to develop them, to build them from scratch and or buy existing properties and renovate them in a way that you increase their value and you still make profit that way. So this does not include any rental uh, income or any loans that Fundrise offers to lend developers. Um, typical portfolio location uh, weighted toward assets that have a high potential to appreciate in value. So certain markets somewhere in the country where um, it's not developed, it's underdeveloped, but it's looking like people will start moving there as they get pushed out from the cities of New York and California into the mid country, mid, uh, you know, the middle United States. Uh, and they will grow because the population is increasing and the prices are just insane in some of these cities and only, on all, only the wealthy can afford those places and people will flood to other areas. And that is what appreciation is because when the demand increases for housing, the prices increase as well. And that's appreciation. So as you can see, income focused from rentals around 20 to 30 percent, so much less than the other two. But most of it is in growth focused assets from 70 to 80 percent. Amazing portfolio has been giving me great returns over the past four years that I've been with Fundrise. Um, and ex ex actually another benefit of the long term growth that you don't pay much taxes 
in the end of the year uh, because all your returns in, uh, are in appreciation, they're unrealized. However, when you get paid in dividends, these are realized returns that go into your bank account or your income um, or your fundraise account, and so you will likely have to pay taxes on them every single year. And now, finally, for the fourth and final investment plan that's new to fundraise, which has nothing to do with real estate, is the venture capital investment plan. Uh, which has pretty much nothing to do with any of these supplemental balance long term. This is a completely different thing. This is a portfolio that you could choose to put your money in. This portfolio makes investments in private, high growth tech companies. Now, these could be real estate tech companies, financial tech companies, or any of these combinations that make these transactions of real estate or the financial trading or anything like that much faster uh, and more efficient. Uh, so venture capital in general, if you're not familiar for what it is, this is pretty much where, how it used to be at least, where these big billion and trillion dollar uh, companies or hedge funds would be able to invest in these private tech companies that are not available to the public, right? So uh, they would give the capital to, let's just choose Uber. Uh, the Uber, before it became a public company, there were uh, investors in that private company called Uber, right? So they got in on the ground floor and then when Uber went public, they were able to sell their shares and make tons of money. Now, individual investors like me and you did not get a chance to buy private shares of Uber, of this private, technically, tech company in a way, because Uber considers the, themselves uh, a tech company, not a taxi company or whatever it is. Um, so, what Fundrise is doing is that it crowd, it's, it's Fundrise crowdfunds the money that they, us, the investors, put in uh, into the platform and then they invest this money as a venture into these private tech companies such as Uber or other ones um, that you could see the details if you if you just Google venture capital fundraise. Um, the problem with this uh, investment plan is that it is very, very high risk. However, high risk, of course, you could get high, high returns if you get the returns. They're definitely outsized returns. As you can see, almost nothing will come from dividends, so there's no day-to-day -day income because this pretty much the entire return from this from this investment plan uh, is in hopes is that Fundrise will make an investment in some middle, early, or late-stage private tech company, and then when that company goes public, they'll be able to sell the shares, and that's how you get your return. Okay, so that's the whole thing. Appreciation and total return is obviously outsized, much higher than all of these three. However, the risk is insane on this because a lot of private tech startups tend to not make it or they get bought out or they just, no one needs, you know, their tech that they're making. So Fundrise really has to be smart in these investments. Uh, in order to um, get these insane returns over over a seven year period, theoretically should be double of what you get from supplemental income. As you can see here, income focused assets are pretty much zero and most of it is growth fo focused assets, but it's not real estate. It's private, early, middle or late stage tech companies. If so, if you, you know, this is an amazing chart explaining everything again. Uh, if you're not a Fundrise Pro investor, these are your four choices that you could choose supplemental, balance, long term, or venture capital. If you're a Fundrise Pro member, however, you're able to make your own investment plan. So you could choose, okay, I want to do 10% supplemental, I want 20%, some of it in balanced. I want, you know, long-term growth, 50 and venture. So that's just, if you want to be an active investor uh, with Fundrise, you have to be a Fundrise Pro member uh, and that will give you those opportunities. Uh, in my next video, actually, I will dive in more into this venture capital investment plan. We'll go over the projects that are there, if it makes sense. Uh, and, you know, if, you know, if you, if you want to take that risk and how much you want to put in there and you know how much are you willing to risk to lose to get these outsized returns uh, so again this is an amazing chart
Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you're new Fundrise, again, don't forget to uh, use my referral link to uh, open a new Fundrise account. You'll get $100 bonus added to your Fundrise account. Absolutely free to you. It's an amazing opportunity. Make sure you do that. And, uh, you know, let me know which investment plan is right for you. Uh, are you risky enough? to choose a venture capital investment plan or are you a you know 55 60 year old person who's close to retiring and you just want to get some supplemental income to pay for your day you know daily day-to-day -day expenses or again long-term growth if if you know if you're looking for something that's relatively uh relatively not as risky as venture capital and of course will get you decent returns Thank you so much for watching and uh, leave your comments down below. I love hearing from you. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Peace.